What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Yes, it's finally cold where I live because we have like almost nine months of summer, 100 degree weather, and then it just decides to get cold. So I'm out here bundled up, hood on, uh, beanie on, but I'm about to warm myself up, lifting up this box that I have right here. Yeah, this is going to be a workout, just trying to get it up to show you guys. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. I'm telling you, oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 there it is, yes, guys, this is one heavy box, and it was on my porch this morning, and I came home, and I'm going to open it with you guys. If you are subscribed to the channel, folks, please take the time to do so. I can't do this today without my right-hand man, Red Deadly. So, you may be asking, Chris, what the heck is in this box? Well, Red Deadly's going to go to work here the, the best that I can that he can because I'm telling you, this, this looks a little dangerous. It will. I'm going to tell you guys the story, though. I, I promise. But let's just make sure that... Ooh, I got to be careful. I don't exactly know. Obviously, there's comics in here, okay? Now, what are these comics? These comics are a part of a collection that somebody reached out to me about. Um, I do believe they had a family member pass away recently. <clears throat> so, condolences to them uh, in the family. I, I think it may have been a close friend. I don't remember off the top of my head but this individual reached out to me i believe they were already aware of my channel watch my channel and they said chris i know that you know you're into buying collections and, and and you're selling and whatnot but still a collector and i wanted to reach out to somebody that could possibly you know give me a good deal um make some money off of it themselves but then possibly keep some knowing that it would go to a a good home, a good place. And I always say this too about books that I sell. Um, I always feel like most of the books that I sell end up going to other good homes as, as well of other collectors. So they reached out to me and they said, because they're across the country from where I am. And we talked about, well, how, how, would, how would this work out being that um, we'd have to ship? He included some artwork for me to keep too. So we'll, we'll get into that after the books very very well packaged in here i'll tell you um so he was like well what if i ship you out about a short box size of books at a time we work out a price for that set books and then we go from there and we keep doing it and keep doing it i don't know exactly how large the collection is off the top of my head but i agree to it this is the first box and yeah here we are Oh, and he also included some books. He said, uh, please enjoy uh, these books <clears throat> or pass them on to somebody else. And we have an in uh, all in color for a dime. Look at this. So what is this about? The big red cheese. Oh, yeah, maybe. See, look at this. Oh, look at that. Really cool. So it might, maybe it talks about all these 10 cent books. Maybe tell some stories about them. Yep, it looks like a history of uh, comic books in, in the golden age. Really, really cool. Man, I think I will hold on to this at least for some time and read it. Maybe let my kids read it if they want to. And then I do like to pass books along. Comics and their creators. This is awesome. The story behind the best-known comic strips of the 30s and 40s with over 100 reproductions of comics and biographies of the cartoonists who made them famous. Look at that. That's pretty cool, too. Oh, that's awesome. So, a lot of history right there for sure. Uh, Steve, if you are watching, thank you so much. All right, so... This is pretty clever, folks, because it is actually a short box. He fit 
the shore box in here we have these you know cardboards kind of like what you know cgc uses and then you fit the short box in so i think this is very well done and he also shipped it media mail now don't you know don't get on him i know uh <laughs> i know sometimes people cringe about shipping comic books media mail but he did include some regular books as well uh and when you talk about shipping comics in bulk like this prices add up right All right, so I'm going to set this back down. We're going to take this lid off. Oh, shoot. All right, we got tape on the lid to make sure it stayed in place. All right, everything is bagged and boarded. A few of them look to be bagged, but not boarded. But this, they're really, really flush in here. This is a full box. I'm actually just going to, this lid was already broke. There we go. All right, let's see what we got, folks. We got a whole short box of goodies. And we are going to start this end. Let's see what we got. All right, first up, we got spawn number one. Nicely bagged and boarded as well. Not a new stand, but still a nice... Uh, high grade uh spawn number one couple issues of spawn number two nice so i know i'll have a lot of stuff spawn stuff up for sale and i'll be filling some holes in my spawn run spawn number three and four nice anybody interested in some spawn stuff hit me up five so we got a nice little spawn run going here. Six. No seven. Eight. Classic cover, obviously the Spider-Man homage. Nine for Spirits of Angela. Nice. I already have that one, so I'll be putting that one up for sale. Ten. couple copies of 11 I don't think I have 11 so get to keep one for myself sell one 12 13 nice no 14 15 16 17 love this cover 18 19 20 all right let's see let's keep going with spawn yep Ooh, another beautiful this is a mcfarlane 21 i love this cover i don't have this one i'm keeping this one guys this one is not for sale i am keeping this one and i don't think i have 22 either and i love this cover i am keeping that one 22 23 24 another sick cover i don't know if i have 24 25 26 man so one through 26 well, what what was there two missing i think oh nice we got batman and uh a spawn of batman these have like little grade stickers on them do i have i think i'm pretty sure i have this Frank Miller. That's cool. Uh, Batman and Spawn War Devil. Not familiar with that one. All right, what else we got? All right, I knew these were coming. Nova number one. And this is a decently higher grade. Some spine ticks and a spine roll, but decently sharp corners. This is a nice one. So what I'll probably do, I'll probably keep this one and sell my CGC 7.0. Because I, I do believe this is going to be higher than a 7.0. Just looking at it right now, I know I, I'm going to double check. But to me, it looks like it could be at least a, um, a very fine. You got one, two, three, at least three color breaking spine ticks. But those corners are nice and sharp too. 
little blending on the spine corners though, but really, really beautiful looking book. Nova number one. Nova number two. So this is a full run of Nova, I do believe. So anybody interested in some Nova? Because I already have my full run of Nova. Number five. So anybody interested in some Nova? I can do some small little lots. Bundle them up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let me know when you guys think we're going to see Nova in the MCU. I mean, we know that they're, both of them are coming. Kevin Feige uh, made a comment saying that both of them are going to show up. 11. When do you think we're going to see Nova first? And are we going to see Richard Ryder first or Sam Alexander first? Let me know in the comments. I think we have the possibility of seeing them in the next Guardians movie. 13. I also think that we might uh, see them in, or him, one of them, maybe. Maybe in the new Captain Marvel movie, The Marvels, maybe. 15. 16. This was... Uh, one of the first comic, an early comic book that I owned in my collection when I was really young. Nova number 16. 17. 18. Full run here, guys. 19. 20. I'm going to go through these a little faster because I know everyone is excited. What else I, we got in here? 20, 21. Uh, 22. 23, 24, and 25. 1 through 25. Awesome. Yes. All right. Some of these got, got some grades on them. Look at that. So we got Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man number two. And I don't know if this was um, the individual that sold these to me or uh, their friend that made these little notes with the gray and everything really neatly that's pretty cool so some early spectacular spider-man stuff i already have a complete run of these so uh these will be up for sale we got an early uh um mashup of or, or, or the first mashup of morbius in the spectacular run First time we see him in the spectacular run here. There's six. A couple of copies of number seven. Nice. Some nice Cochrane art there. Uh, here's number eight. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, another, oh, a few number eights. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of number eights. Awesome. Well, two, number, two more number eights. Nice high grade here. They say this is a 9.0. Looks solid. Uh, we got a couple copies of uh, Spectacular 22 with Moon Knight. Nice. Some early uh, Mike Zek here. Uh, we got a couple issues of 23 with Moon Knight. What else we got? Oh, nice. 60, issue number 69, an early cloak and dagger. Uh, second appearance, 68 is their first appearance. And 70. 93. All right, spectacular 116 with saber tooth. 119. 120. I always love this cover. 139 with a tombstone. What else we got? 
Oh, we got the anniversary issue. Nice. In a new stand. Look at that. Solid. They got this at a 9.4. Solid stuff. Solid stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. Hmm. Do I sell this one or keep this one? I have a couple copies, but they're not new stands. Web of number 47. Just sold one of those copies not too long ago. Uh, 96. Love, always love getting more Spidey stuff in it. Uh, here's another web of uh, 90 anniversary. Not a new stand on this one. <laughs> All right, we got some 15 cent Jerry Lewis. And um, yeah, did J Jerry Lewis just passed away, I think. Those are cool. Those are really high grade, too. I'm not familiar, too familiar with those, but what else we got here? Uh, Jerry Lewis and Superman teaming up. Those are cool. Nice. All right, we got some uh, Silver Age Adventure comics. These are always fun. I have a nice little run of Adventure comics. What else we got here? Ooh, yeah, I love the the Spectre and the Adventure comics, the the, the uh, sil uh, excuse me, Bronze Age issues. So we got uh, four thirty eight and four forty. Take it stuck there. There we go. Look at that. Legion of Superheroes, nice. Giant. Oh, this is just a giant Adventure comic. This is Adventure comics number four hundred three with Legion. Pretty sweet. I love the Supergirl adventures as well. Nice higher grade on, on a lot of these. I I have a lot of these, but I might swap them out with some of these higher grades. Some 12 cent Justice Leagues. Nice. Issue number 32. Hmm. <laughs> Another to sell or not to sell. 47. Nice. Solid looking books. Uh, 49. Oh, man. I'm going to have to make a decision here because, you know, uh, again, I am I I haven't been buying comics a lot lately at all except for buying the collections and being able to keep some for myself. But as a businessman, as someone who wants to grow my inventory, grow my business, pay my bills, obviously, and, you know, grow my inventory to hopefully one day possibly have an LCS I need to detach, right? Oh, I don't have this. I want to keep this. I don't have this. I want to keep this. I want to keep this. I want to keep this. I have to balance that out. But when you get a lot of stuff like this, silver, bronze age, goodness, man, just league 149. It's tough to sit here and say, yeah, I can, I can part with that. Ooh, issue 150. I'm keeping that for sure. I don't have 150. I don't think 152 and 155. So, so far, all I got to say is this individual was, seemed to be a, a real, a uh, uh, true fan of, of comic books. Oh, if, uh, X11 is watching, we got a shadow number one, the bronze age DC run. Awesome. Got some Jimmy Olsen. Nice, got some Silver Age Batman. This one's beat up, but still. Batman number 153. Nice. Uh, Bronze Age Batman 268. Man, a little bit of everything in here, too. Some Spidey, some DC, some random stuff here. Prez, number one. Sherlock Holmes, number one. That's cool. A lot of little no number ones here. Men of War number one. I could do a little number one set for sale. Shade the Changing Man number one. Man Bat number one. I do believe I already have that one. Uh, Man Bat number two. All right. We still got some more to go, folks. What do we got here? Tarzan. Uh, the, the DC run. I love this DC run that continued on the numbering from the original uh was it um gold uh gold key run i believe 250 
250, 251, 253. So we're just counting up 254. Some Tarzan. Look at that. A whole bunch of Tarzan. I have some of these in my my PC, but Korak, son of Tarzan, number forty six. 47. Love the border 20 centers. Some real awesome covers on these. All right. Lots more Korak. I won't go through all of these. Just a huge stack here. Anybody interested in those? Let me know. I don't need to keep those. Uh, Tarzan Family uh, Giants, the 80 page Giants. These are, oh, I keep showing you guys the same one. Anyways, I can, there's multiple here. Pretty cool. Tarzan Family Giant. Nice. We're almost there, guys. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, Cole the Conqueror, number one. Nice. And they got this at an 8.5. Look at that. Uh, Marvel Spectacular number one. This is cool because these are the, you know, reprintings of uh, Thor Volume 1. Nice. Thor vs. Hercules. There's number one. Uh, there's number two. Hey, he, Warlord of Mars number one. Rawhide Kid, Western Team Up number one. And the last little stack here. All right, we got some Iron Man number 80. I don't know if I have that one. If not, I'll be keeping it. Jungle Action number 17. Nice. I'm pretty sure I don't have that, and I will be keeping that. Because I love... Black Panther. Daredevil number 88 with Killgrave. We got Iron Fist number two. Nice. Iron Fist number nine. Tomb of Dracula number 46. I do have this copy. I know that for a fact. And I have my complete run of Captain America. And here is Captain America number 194. Wow. Short box of comics. I got to grab these and throw them back in here so they're just not stacked up like this. But guys, I am very excited about all these books to have some awesome books in my PC, added to the PC. And of course, to have some uh, an opportunity to um, give some of these books a new home. So if there's anything that you guys are interested in anything that you saw, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Send me a PM. Send me an email, CaptainJournoComics at gmail.com. Uh, follow me on the Whatnot app. That link is below as well. I am still selling there. I've had some uh, issues over the last couple of months, but uh, we seem to be almost back on track. Not where I would like to be uh, with some of the glitches, but enough to where we can have some awesome shows. So be on the lookout for all those things. You want to make sure you're following me in all those places. But uh, again, big shout out, Steve, if you're watching. Thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to see if we can work out some more uh, deals to, to get some more short boxes in the mail and, and, and see what, what goodies we pull out of them. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments in the description below. Hit me up if there's something that you're interested in. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Be well, and until next time.